This is an extension of our lesson from yesterday. So yesterday we were talking about solving equations with multiplication and division. So this is an extension of your 2.2 notes. We're going to finish it off, but now we're going to be talking about fractions, which I know we all love. Okay, so if I have an equation with some fractions in it, it's actually going to be easier than you think. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the multiplied components of the fraction to the top of the equation. And let me show you what that first step looks like. So in example number eight down here, I have a negative two over three X. So I'm still going to draw my fraction bar, but I want to try to move this X up to the top. So it's not hanging out in the middle. So I'm going to just rewrite it. It's going to be the exact same problem, except it's going to be easier for me to manage. So I just pushed that X up to the top. Then what you need to do is you, if you have more than one fraction, which you won't have very often, you need to find the least common denominator of all the fractions. So I promise I won't give this to you very often. Okay, but let me, I'm going to give you an example of what that looks like in case you run into it. Then you're going to multiply every term in the equation by that least common denominator, that LCD up here. And then we're going to solve the equation just like we did yesterday. So this LCD really only happens if I have more than one fraction, which I don't in this problem. So my LCD is just whatever is on the bottom, which is three. Okay, so no big deal. So now what I need to do is I'm gonna multiply everything by that bottom number of the fraction. So I'm gonna multiply this whole term by three, and then I'm gonna multiply the other side by three. So those go away. Now what I'm left with is more than just X this time. I'm still left with a negative two X, and 10 times three is 30. So yesterday I was done after that first step. Now I've got a little bit more to do, but now this looks like, like yesterday. So I need to try to get this X alone. It's a multiplication problem. So I'm gonna divide by negative two on both sides to get that X by itself. So my answer would be negative 15. Okay, let's try example number nine. So again, I've got a fraction here. When I talk about moving things to the top, I'm just gonna move that negative up to the top. So I'm gonna rewrite this, 3m equals negative six over seven, okay? No big deal. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply everything by the LCD. So remember, it's just whatever's on the bottom. I only have one fraction and the bottom number is seven. So I'm gonna multiply this whole term by seven and I'm gonna multiply this whole term by seven. These go away. So I have negative six equals 21m. So what's nice about that first step is now I have no fraction. You're just getting rid of that fraction in that first step. Now I still don't have m completely alone, so I'm gonna divide both sides by 21 because that's the opposite of multiplication. So now I have my variable all by itself, and this is a yucky fraction. I'm just gonna simplify it the best that I can. So my final simplified fraction is gonna be negative two over seven. Okay, now this one, again, I'm not gonna give this to you very often, but I do want you to see how it works. So again, I need to move everything to the top that I can. So I'm gonna move this N to the top. So I have three N over four equals one over two. Now this time I have two fractions that I'm dealing with. So I need to find the LCD, the least common denominator. To do that, I'm gonna do multiples of each of them. So four, eight, 12 two, four, six. Oh, I found the LCD, okay? So I'm just gonna do my multiples to get that LCD. So that means I'm gonna multiply everything in this equation by four. So I'm gonna multiply this by four, and I'm gonna multiply this by four. Those go away. I'm left with three N equals, and I'm gonna do four divided by two, because remember I'm multiplying this by the top. So this is four times one is four, divided by two is just two. Okay, so I have, um, I'm gonna, multi this is a multiplication problem, so I'm gonna divide by three on both sides. So N is just equal to two over three. This is a crazy problem. We're gonna do lots of practice with that, but just know that um, most of what you're gonna see are gonna be like example eight and nine.